Oliver was an average teen. He would stay up late, hang out with friends, and even go out for a drink every now and then. It was all fun and games until he eventually got tired of doing nothing. He decided he would start something productive. A job, he thought, would be the best choice. He always enjoyed helping out with other people in his community, so he wanted to do something that could be local. There was an elderly couple who looked to be in their 70s who needed help with raking old leaves in their lawn. When they asked him if he'd be interested, he immediately said yes. They told him he could start tomorrow at around 5 p.m. Oliver was incredibly excited about this. He was finally doing something productive. So at around 5, he arrived. They gave him a rake and thanked him dearly for doing this. They left soon after for a birthday party. Their lawn was quite large and because of this there were many leaves. He had brought two garbage bags with him in case one wasn't enough, and he began. Around half an hour in to raking, he noticed something at the far end of their lawn. A scarecrow. He didn't mind it at first, but as he got closer, he felt uneasy. It didn't look like an ordinary scarecrow. It had a leather jacket on, torn up jeans, shoes, but no hat. It looked incredibly realistic and he would have gotten rid of it. However, he ignored it and assumed it was made by the elderly couple. At around 8.30, the couple had come home. They thanked him and gave him $20. He was about to leave when he asked, so where did you get that scarecrow? It's pretty creepy. They looked at him, puzzled. Then the man said, We don't own a scarecrow. They looked around the yard together and noticed nothing. The scarecrow had vanished. This made Oliver's stomach churn, but they shook it off. They thanked him, said goodbye, and went inside. Two days later, he was asked to work again. He went at the same time and began raking. That's when he noticed the scarecrow again. But this time, it was different. It was much closer to the house and had formed a large grin across its face. Luckily, there weren't any leaves next to it, so Oliver didn't need to go over. At six, he was done. They thanked him. This time, he never told them about the scarecrow. He thought they would have called him crazy. The next day, Oliver was walking home from school. While doing so, he passed by the elderly couple's house. Upon looking, his heart stopped. At least two cop cars were present, and one ambulance. There was caution tape all around, and he could see stretchers being carried out with bodies covered by a white blanket. He ran up to an officer and asked what had happened. Oliver was told that the couple were murdered last night. The officer asked him if he had noticed anything strange. Oliver was speechless. His voice trembled as he told them about raking the leaves and described the scarecrow. The officers looked at him as he mentioned the black leather jacket that it was wearing. One officer came over with the exact jacket in his hands. The officer asked Oliver if this was the jacket he was referring to. He said yes. The officer holding the jacket put it in the back of one of the cars and began to explain what may have happened. As it turned out, there was a serial killer on the loose. He seemed to prey on small local towns. He was even spotted a few times, wearing a leather jacket. Now that he had left it, they could finally find out who it was. They thanked Oliver for explaining what he experienced, and he walked back home. When he got to his house, he found a note on his bedroom door. His parents would be gone until tomorrow, 
and had left some food and money for him. Oliver never left his house that day. He locked all the windows and doors, and even called a friend or two over. He didn't dare go outside. Oliver never mentioned the scarecrow to his friends, and at 10.30 they finally left to go home. He tried to keep his mind occupied, watching movies and playing games, until around 1.30 he finally fell asleep. He was too tired to walk upstairs to his bedroom, so he slept on a couch in the living room. At four in the morning, he woke up to the wind coming in from the closest window. His heart pounded as he remembered locking it. Slowly, he walked over and opened the curtains. The window looked to have been broken into sometime that night. The lock on the window had been broken. Oliver froze. All he could think of was that scarecrow and its grin. Suddenly, he heard scratching. Slowly, he turned around. At the corner of the room was the scarecrow. It was on its feet now, staring at him. And it grinned as it had before. <laughs>